What is going on everybody? Here we are, finally at the beach. It's been a long time since I've been at the beach. Usually between like December and March, it's really slow out here, so which is why I go to the jetty and other places in the pier. So we're out here, we're gonna be doing some surf fishing. We got a brand new Okuma Salina over there. We were soaking some, uh, some crab with fish bites. And then over there, we got a uh, the Surf AK. We got a big piece of whiting on there. And in the middle, we got a small pole right there. That pole right there has uh, fish bites and a little bit of shrimp. So far, we've actually been catching a lot of whiting, big whiting. Alice caught like a 16 inch white. She got like two of them. And we use one of them for bait. The other one we're gonna eat. And then also we got the new Makaira that Okuma sent me. We're gonna put that and we're gonna put a nice prime bait on there. We're gonna fly it out and hopefully we catch a big monster with that. Brand new Makaira 50, fully schooled. This thing is, look at that. It's got a 130 pound diamond hollow core braid and a top shot of, I don't, remember, I don't know exactly what it was. I forgot. Check it out. Man, this thing is beautiful. Check it out, y'all. We got six of real looks on here. Fire 50. That's all you need for Texas right here. Beautiful real. Man. Look at that. I got all my Texas Surf Masters. It's a sick combo. It has white line, but it's Texas. It's a turn dark brown in, in about two trips, so it doesn't even matter. This is it, man. We got a we got a sheephead here from yesterday. I like it. I like it, mom. I like it. You like it, buddy. Uh -huh. Look, we got one over there, buddy. All right, we're gonna use the head. Man, oh, there's a lot of sheephead down here. You don't even need shrimp. You can just catnip the sheephead out here. <laughs> That's funny. Oh. You can cast net sheephead because they're not game fish. So you can keep them as on, in a cast net. If they were like reds and stuff like that, you can't keep them because that's game fish. But sheephead are non-game fish. This one's small. Imagine casting a sheephead. Nice chunk right here, look at that, bloody. So I got the sheep head here, the head. So I only have like a five pound limit, so I'm not using a huge bait. So uh, what I did is I make sure I got maximum exposure on the hook. See, big exposure right here. It's bleeding, bloody, Some guts are still on here. This should be a good right here bait. I'm gonna fly it out 300 to 400 yards. All right, so we're flying out about like five, four pounds right now. 
got to really, we got a full balance weight. I don't know, actually, it might be like three pounds. Who knows? But what we're gonna do is we're gonna set it up. We're gonna fly it out, and hopefully we catch something big. Hopefully something huge. We'll see what happens. Way out there. <laughs> That's 400 yards. A lot of line left on there, too. Catch on that. No. Good job, buddy. That has spikes. All right, check it out, y'all. This is Alice's first sheep head, and what makes this even more special? She caught it at the beach. Look at that nice sheep head, about 20 inches, thick and meaty. Look at that beautiful fish. We're gonna fillet it. We're gonna grill it tonight. No, he's gonna fillet. Oh, I guess I'm gonna fillet. You know, I you typically the person that catches the fish. Blazing, but I guess it doesn't apply here. <laughs> but look at that, check it out. It's a nice sheep head. She caught it at the beach on cut shrimp. That is crazy. I've never caught one at the beach. Every time that I catch a sheep head, it's on the filings. But about enough about me, it's all about her right here. <laughs> nice sheep head, beautiful fish. Look at that. Let me show you another thing also. It's actually pretty good. The thing about these sheep head, they got uh, human teeth. See them right there? All right, let's get set up. We got us some shrimp here. We got it from the seafood store. And we're gonna use this. Oh. Man, this is a big shrimp. We haven't been able to catch shrimp out in the wild like we usually have. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a combo. We're gonna do the uh, shrimp fish bites. Perfect. Look at the Nice shrimp. We already got fish bites on here. We already caught a small pumpkin earlier. The water's perfect for pumping right now. Wow. 
けです。This guy. Nice shark. There we go. We caught up to it. How's my Kyra feel? It feels really smooth. Super smooth. Jim. Huh? <laughs> it's coming in. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I need to pull it in. Yeah, I see it now. I'm gonna need that. 
Ready? Can you give me the reel? The reel? Oh, I'll oh, okay. yeah, see. Hold on, hold on. I know. I'm trying to get him all out of the water. Wait, yo. Wait, wait. Down the Makaira. First, short, first day on the Makaira. Check it out, y'all. Sure, we just got it. Let's pull it up now. Wait, how often do you do that, man? Right, this is the first time this year. That's the first time, huh? Shark. Just let it go. That's like it's over the first bar. Make sure it gets out swimming. Let's get out further. Let's go ways deep. Look at that. Make sure it gets out alive. It's a nice six footer here. We don't want to get it stuck on a sandbar. Here it goes. You see that? Oh, yeah. Over the sandbar. Yeah. Ooh. This is black tip. Nice black tip. It's not a sandbar, it's a black tip. Sandbar's got bigger, bigger dorsal fins. There it goes. There it goes. Nice. <laughs> Whew. That was sick. That was a workout mainly because you got to ruin that big old weight on the sand. I was basically school draining that black tip. Check it out, y'all. This is what I caught it on. I was basically dragging that shark in. Whew, I'm out of shape. First big shark this year. First shark on the Macaro. The first time we bring it out, we catch something. Man, I'm exhausted. I gotta start jogging some more cardio. I usually don't get this wore out, but it's the first time in a while. But anyway, this is what we caught it on. The Macaro 50, butter, butter. Really didn't like nothing. We barely even had to pull or pump. Took like a surf masters. Whew, that was sick. Uh, we gotta go. I'm tired. We're already packed up. Anyways, we're getting ready to leave. I was actually, I already pulled in most of the other rods. I was going to pull in the other one in, and sure enough, as I'm packing up, <laughs> rag pulls, and he reached that shark. Whew, I'm tired. <laughs> had nothing on this one. It took my whole grab. Somebody was messing with it. Probably while we were really in that shark. Check it out, y'all. Oh, I lost it. Oh, he got it back. He came for it back. 